Now that I have this set up and positioned where I want it, we can go ahead and take off the access panel and wire this thing up. It's going to require a number four wire coming from the panel to here in order to power it. If it's over 100 feet, it's going to require a number three wire. This air compressor only uses three wires to hook it up, two hots and a ground. Since I have a four conductor wire, I'm going to go ahead and cap off the red wire. The way I'm going to ground this is by stripping back the green wire, installing this copperated crimp on ring terminal connector, and then we're going to remove the mounting bolt in the back and then reinstall it with this underneath. In order to ensure a better ground, I'm going to scuff the coating of the box off so I can get a little bit to bare metal. That way, once I put the terminal on it, it has a better connection to ground the box. The only other thing to do is to strip these two hot black and white wires and then install them under the two screw terminals. And this is how it should look when it's done. To wire it into the panel, the connection points are going to be first capping off the red wire since it's not necessary, since it only requires two hots and a ground. And then we're going to have to take the green wire and ground it to the panel. Normally you would put it under the ground bar, but all the holes are too small. So you can either get a larger lug that would bolt onto the ground bar to give you a larger opening, or you could get a standalone lug and screw it into the panel to ground it to the panel, which is what I'm going to do. After that, we're going to connect our two hot wires, the black and white, to the two screw terminals on the 60 amp breaker. And if I was going to have this as a permanent install, I might end up using a different wire, but this is going to be okay for temporary because I don't plan on being at this location very long. The breaker just snaps into the bus bar and we're going to make sure our connections are cut. Whenever you add a breaker to a panel, you're going to have to punch out the knockouts in order to create space for it in the panel cover. You can use that with a screwdriver and linesman pliers. Here it goes. <laughs> 